Hello and welcome back to Clint's Workshop. I'm Keith in Clint's, work, in Clint's Workshop. Okay, so today what I'm going to do is to look at some problems that can occur um, when you're parting off with a parting off tool. This is a parting off tool. Okay, seems straightforward, but believe me, if you don't get the angles correctly, correctly set in the tool post, it can cause some problems. <clears throat> we'll look at some of the problems it can cause, and one in particular is uh, chattering of the tool. Um, not a smooth parting off uh, procedure because of the chatter and it, it's horrible. <laughs> but we'll see if we're looking at ways to cure it. Okay, before that, <clears throat> I would like to say um, I'm going to thank you for two people who, who subscribe to my channel. New subscribers this week, two. That, that's good for me. <laughs> get two channel uh, two subscribers so I've not got the details or the names because uh, YouTube doesn't always uh, uh, let me know that unless it's uh, specifically requested by the, the subscriber so anyway thanks very much for subscribing it's, it's all it's all good stuff <laughs> so what I'm going to do now is to uh, um, we'll, we'll, I'll get back to that uh, what, the problem up top with the chatter on the tool to show you how to get rid of it. Now, the other thing I wanted to point out first is um, I know that some people have trouble in sourcing uh, spare parts for lathes and things, especially the Boxford one, which I have here. Uh, it could be three jar chuck, it could be a tail stock or something like that, or, or a machine guard. Um, sometimes I'm able to source them. Uh, for instance, uh, <coughs> collet chucks very difficult to find and uh, good, with a good set of collets as well so it is difficult I sometimes have them in stock myself and if so I can supply you with them but I need for you, I need for you to send to me an email on, at keith at clint.co.uk at clint being the little curly at not the a that's keith at clint that is uh, with a uh, k a T K L I N T. No, sorry, I'm getting it wrong now. It's Keith at Clint K L I N T. I'm confusing myself now. So anyway, that's the you know the email. You know that's how to do emails anyway. But that's my email address, Keith at Clint dot co dot uk. Um, so now I'm going to get back to this uh, chattering problem. <laughs> well, some of you think I'm chattering too much anyway. So let's get on with it, okay? Okay, so here we are. I've set the camera up in a different position to what I usually do. I, I, I hope you can see it a little bit better. But you'll see the groove there uh, where I've started to do it, parting off. But when I come to uh, <coughs> when I come to a certain diameter, it starts chattering like this. try to get the chatter, uh, reduce the chatter and um, by making a few adjustments. Um, okay, so firstly I want to look at the tool and uh, stop the machine. And it was working perfectly, uh, it, was, it was cutting nicely till it got to, to that particular point. And, um, and so let me see. I've got this camera set up in a position which I don't usually have. <laughs> so um, you might be better seeing it. I'm looking at the tool. Well, I'll take it out of the, of the machine. And uh, oops. One of, the, one of the problems of chatter is that this locking device down here, which as you see on the spanner there, if that's not locked up tight, it could chatter. But I think in this instance, we've got a problem with the, with the angle of the tool, the clearance angle. Uh, I'll tell you why. Okay, let's see if I can show you why. Uh, whoops. 
if you look at if you can see the tool there going in there yeah right if it's not at centre height that could create a problem but it is at centre height you see you see it's at centre height so that couldn't be I think that will not be a problem and the clearance you've got to consider the clearance angle between the top of the tool the side clearance there uh, it hasn't got to be touching so that's pretty clear there but if I look at the other angle on the side on the other side clearance that is that one there then that could be a problem and I think it may be the problem here so I'll just check it by doing this oops and it's difficult for you to see I know but uh, I can see that nothing of clearance on that angle there <clears throat> so that could create a problem I'll show you better on this particular uh, layout I've got another tool here so this is this is what I'm I need a cameraman you know <laughs> I, need, I can't do everything here but you need to look at the that side clearance angle there and the side clearance at the other side which is there So if they're not clear, what happens is the tool tends to get jammed in the uh, in the groove. <laughs> so it's in the groove. I think that's that's where the problem can be, can come from. So um, <clears throat> this is another tool. I'm going to take that tool out now and see if, see if we can make some adjustments. Okay. So I'll take the tool out and uh, see if I can grind it a little bit more clearance on it. Okay. So now, oops. <laughs> Got the camera out of the holder. Uh, <coughs> what I'm going to do is to uh, set set the, uh, the camera up and show you what uh, on the grinder how I'm going to re make a, uh, a larger clearance angle on that side clearance. Okay, just uh, hang on a second and uh, I'll get to it. Okay, so we're all set up with the bench grinder in operation. You'll notice here we've got some water to cool the uh, the, the, the cutting tool as I'm grinding it. It's important not to get it overheated, otherwise it, it will soften it. It's high speed steel. So I'm going to put more sort of side clearance on. Just a little bit at a time. You'll notice I've got the guards on the machine, spark guards, and looking at that, I'm still wanting some more side clearance on there. So, I can look at it by checking the... Checking it like that, I don't know if you can see it. Very difficult to do this, but anyway, it's not quite right yet. But it's so lovely. I hope I'm not boring this boat. But... That's 
that's what you got to do. I think I see a little bit of difference there. I'm just not quite there yet. I just want a little bit more. On the coarse section of the wheel. Keep it cool again. Oops. It's on the final one. Keep cooling it. Not quite there yet. A little bit more. This is a tool I. I picked up part of a job lot, first time I've used it. Can you see it's beginning to take shape? A little bit more. Touch more. Well, I think we're about there. Just give it a little, little grind at the front, the front clearance. And check the top rake. That's the top rake. 
That looks okay. That looks fine. Just a little touch more. Right. Okay, so <coughs> I'm going to pause this video a little bit just to uh, put it, get it into the uh, tool holder again. So just hang on a sec. 